Hey guys, it's Ben the Brick Builder back with another video. Today I'm going to be building a weird Lego creation. Um, so for an assignment in my art class, I have to make a book altar project. So I start with a book and then I got to make it some sort of sculpture in some way. And because it's me, my immediate thought is Lego. And to do this, I'm actually going to be using some some make a tape to put it put a build inside of a book I'm gonna have a book opened up like this put the tape in and then build something in the book and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me through a time lapse so let's get started all right, so I've been doing what I can or could for the, the better part of a week to get this book to stay like this, but now I've got to put the bricks in or the, the tape in here. So I actually have to build a rig that will keep it so that it'll be a um, uh, the width of a brick off of the um, the table. Um, so I actually got a, I forgot to build that before I made this, this clip. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay. So I got my piece made up. It's going to allow me to line up the, um, the bricks or the, the, the tape to the book so that it will work. Cause yeah, I thought about putting like the tape all the way from the corner but the way I've got the book set up, that wouldn't really quite work. So I actually got to get this open. So I got it open. Got an instruction manual. I don't use those anyways. So, ooh, I don't, I don't really like that it's bunched up like that. Um, so I'm gonna put it in here. It's got some, what feels like some good clutch power. Um. And then I got my knife and I'm gonna do my best not to cut myself or the Lego pieces and or my table that would be good too Gotti. I might, I might cut that back down a little more, but, um, yes, this is what we need. I gotta remove the tape with hopefully out removing the adhesive, because I've seen people do that, doesn't work out too well for them. Um, got it, and I gotta peel the rest of it off. Ah, uh, that's not great, the way that that bubbled there. Um, but I'm going to stick it right in the book like this. And then I'm actually going to put some weight on that so that will... So I'll, so I'll guarantee that it'll stick and then I'll come back and then start building and hopefully that will all be in a time lapse. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. <laughs>
days I do remember We were running still Had the whole world at our feet Watching seasons change Our roads were lined with adventure Mountains in the way Couldn't keep us from the sea Here we stand So I have no idea how that time lapse turned out. I don't know because of the speed and I know I'm definitely going to have to speed it up even more. The lighting, I have no idea how that's going to turn out at all. So yeah. And I found out my teacher is going to have that be extra credit. So that is amazing. Um, you might have seen my class for like a few frames in the time lapse. Um, I did stop recording time-lapse towards the end of the build. I just was at a point where it was, it was almost done and I wasn't steadily building over like an hour or so. It was more of every once in a while I'd, I'd add a little more details. But yes, so if you guys want to do this with the book and the make a tape, I highly recommend it because... I really like this idea of this distinct corner and you don't have to, to detail the back and you can show the back. Um, but yeah, so if you guys do it, go ahead and tag me on Instagram or TikTok or leave a link in the comments below of you guys trying this. This was, this was an awesome experiment. I think I want to do it more, probably once, once a year maybe. Maybe every six months or so. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to get into a time lapse. Not a time lapse. Silly me. I'm going to get into a slideshow of all the pictures of this bad boy. Let's get into that now. <laughs> 